Hi YouTube! I know it's been a long time since I've posted a video and so here it is. Today's review is going to be on the Hadalabo Koi Golkujin UV White Gel Sunscreen SPF 50 plus PA plus plus plus. I'm sorry that was really choppy. So this is what the box looks like. It comes in a pretty sweet good looking box. If you're into packaging, if that is part of the appeal for you, it has a nice box. And unfortunately, most of the writing is in Japanese and I can't read Japanese. I really wish I could though because I love Japanese skincare. But I do know a few things and that's what I want to share with you today. This contain this has a tub. This comes this sunscreen comes in a tub form. And I'm not a huge fan of tubs because if you accidentally knock them down, you can lose a whole lot of product. Although this is a very gel textured product because it says it's a gel and it's very, um, it kind of sticks together. It, it is not going to fall really, but when you have a large quantity, I think you can still knock it over. So I'm not a huge fan of the tub packaging, but it does not take away from my love for this product. So the first thing I want to say is that I purchased the sunscreen on Amazon.ca for $24. When I first purchased the sunscreen in January, I got it in two weeks, but when I repurchased it in March, it took like over a month to get to Canada, or at least to get to me. Maybe it was like in Canada, but it had to go through customs for, I'm not sure. This is a purely chemical sunscreen. It has octanoxate, which is a UVB filter, Parasol SLX, which is a UVB filter also, Tinazorb S, which is both a UVA and a UVB filter. It has Juvenal A+, which is a UVA filter. So this is a purely chemical sunscreen, which means that it goes on very clear. So the texture is, it has hyaluronic acid, but it's not sticky and tacky. It feels really, it feels really light, like gel weight, lightweight, and it leaves no white cast, like seriously no white cast. So this is really helpful for people who don't want that gray, white, almost purple cast that tin, titanium dioxide and zinc oxide give people of color like me so I really reach out for this sunscreen for that reason because of that cosmetic appeal if you're a person of color and if you also have sensitivity to avobenzone like I do which is a UVA filter predominantly used in sunscreens in chemical sunscreens here in Canada also in the US I would suggest going for this sunscreen because I love it it feels really lightweight it's probably not enough if you are using this as the sole moisturizer because it's so lightweight in the winter times here in Canada because it's especially dry because we spend a lot of time indoors. But I think if you put on a good like base of moisturizer and then top it off with this, I think it should be okay. Or I, What I do is I go on with my Elta MD UV sport sunscreen after I put this on that has zinc oxide and I think it is octanoxate as the chem uh, as as the sunscreen ingredients so it's a combination sunscreen that's very the the Elta MD sunscreen is very occlusive so I like to put that on top in the winters but in the summer this has kind of been enough it's pretty humid out these days in May it's like raining every other day so I think this is a great sunscreen to use for the summer when we're out and about and we, we just don't want to have a you know white cast and the UV filters in this are a lot more stable than the ones that are sold in the United States I think Canada has Tinazor as a filter here and maybe even Juvenal A I'm not a hundred percent sure so Canada has more UV filters that are approved in can approved for sunscreen purposes, but if you're in the US, this is a great alternative to avobenzone containing sunscreens. 
Next, I want to talk about the texture and feel. So it has a very lightweight consistency of a gel and it's not sticky or tacky even though it has hyaluronic acid. It's a fragrance free sunscreen, leaves no white cast, and it has vitamin C. I believe the vitamin C in this formulation is added to give you added benefit to accentuate the sunscreen ingredients, but I don't believe it's present to present at a concentration that can help with hyperpigmentation. So I'm not really sure what white UV part, UV part means. Maybe they're saying that it can lighten your skin or maybe they just mean that it looks white in color. It has an off-white color. It's not really white, but maybe the white correlates to the, the look of the sunscreen or it might relate to giving you a whiter skin tone thing. Um, I don't think I don't think this has vitamin C at a concentration that really helps with hyperpigmentation because I have issues concerning hyperpigmentation and I don't think it was the vitamin C that helped. I think it was just the very rigorous vitamin uh, sunscreen usage that has helped with my hyperpigmentation. So that's all I have to say about this sunscreen. I really like it. I've also repurchased it and my brother who hates using sunscreens because they're so sticky and they leave a white cast and they feel really heavy and greasy on the face reaches for this so that says a lot about this sunscreen and that's all for today have a good one bye